she was you know, she lodged in Patiala jail. My stand on the matter has been very clear right from the day one when I joined her. The instructions that I sent even in writing were, number one, that any convict should be placed in the jail nearest to his own place to which he or she belongs. And number two, a convict uh, under trial should be at the prison house which is at the place nearest to the place where the trial is going on. This also has the approval of the Honorable Courts. So when we sent her to Kapoorthala jail from Patiala, I, there was no problem about that. And whenever I go and go for inspections, people tell me that uh, they belong to a certain place. Immediately I say yes, they should be shifted there in next earliest possible, half an hour, one hour, whatever. That's my stand always. I probably go always out of the way to carry out the orders and uh, standing orders that we have and orders of the honorable judgments of the various honorable courts, etc. So that particular issue is perfectly in. Secondly, about the so-called VIP treatment to Mrs. Uh, to Lady Jagi Korji. Yes, I have been reading newspaper reports about this thing that uh, today I think Indian Express had carried out some photograph that some guy is moving on scooter, carrying a dish, etc., etc. This morning only I had talked to the superintendent of the jail and I had told him in plain words for which I am notorious that I am not going to tolerate any such nonsensical stuff. I don't know whether any such thing was done or not but I have told him that if any such thing was done it should be undone immediately and that too in next few hours time. Besides the calling for his explanation I am also sending my IG for visiting the spot, ensuring that everything is as per the jail manual and then submit a report immediately there. That's why I said that my instructions to the jail superintendent this morning were that number one, he has to abide by the rules which are there in the jail manual, orders of the various courts as also the prison act. If he goes beyond that, rest assured he'll face music. I'm not the kind of person who spares any person. And that's why I have sent I don't think the that her so-called uh, rigors have started. I won't say that because as per the jail manual, whenever a new person comes to a jail, or, uh, whether it's a man or a woman, the first thing he or she has to do is to undergo a medical test. When the baby Jago, baby Jagi Kaur had come to that particular prison house. As per rules, she was, she had to undergo that medical uh, tests and all those things. I have been informed that she was having high BP and all sorts of things. So she has been lodged in the female ward of the makeshift hospital. You know that we don't have any hospital there. It was all burned down during the riots there. So we have a makeshift hospital for the male, males out there and a makeshift hospital for the ladies out there. She is inside that ward and uh, under medical supervision. And as and when this particular, she's all right, I'm sure that she'll have to be, she'll have to undergo the so-called rigorous imprisonment. Why I said so-called, I'll clarify that also. Because we are having a problem out here in Punjab of paucity of funds. Uh, some journalist was yesterday talking about stone crushing and all those things, those are as have gone. What we require is infrastructure in the factories located within various prison houses where work, is, work goes on. That work is not going on very well right now because of the paucity of funds. Yesterday we had a meeting with our Honorable CM and he went out of the way to say that yes, we required about 10 crores of rupees to ensure that the factories and all the prison houses start working in full swing. So I'm sure that uh, the money will be coming any day and the work will start at all sorts of places. And by that time, I'm sure that she will no, in No in capital letters. As far as I'm concerned, any prisoner who comes to any of the prison houses is an ordinary prisoner for me. No in capital letters.